book. No, not anymore. No, no. Oh no, no. We we just lost our engine. No, we didn't. Yeah, we don't have. We look. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, please. Uh, no, I was just I was just joking. I know, but don't do it now. No, let's let's do it. Let's do it. No. Here, no, out. I don't want to. Just okay. Ate. I just ate. You just ate. Don't put this on YouTube. I'm not scared. I just ate. Okay. Commission ground, flight support 687 Sierra Tango at the West T hangars, ready for a taxi for northbound departure. And I have Charlie. Flight support 7 Sierra Tango, Kenosha, runway 7 right, taxi to the Echo 1. Oh, uh, is that Echo 1, 7 Sierra Tango? 7 Sierra Tango, affirmative for Echo 1. Echo 1, 7 right, 7 Sierra Tango. All right, we're at temperature. Why does it flash on and off red? What do you mean? On 120, why does it flash? Because we're not quite, when it's flashing, it says it wants to be at 120. Oh, okay. And we're not quite there, we're at 119. When it gets to 121, then it won't, it'll stop flashing. Oh, that's basically, so basically, to let you, does, yeah. basically to let you know, hey, you know, you need to be at 120 and above for takeoff. Yeah, everything's in the green, everything's looking good. Trim set. Got a crosswind, but not a bad one. Ready to fly, Bob? <laughs> All right, Bob. Maybe someday soon I'll let you fly the plane yourself, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, as long as you get checked out, as long as, uh, you know, you don't do anything stupid. Flew back from Mount Vernon without a plane. Kenosha Tower, 687 Sierra Tango, holding short of 7 right at Echo 1, ready for takeoff for northbound departure. Kenosha 7 Sierra Tango, Kenosha Tower, proceed on course, runway 7 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 7 right, 7 Sierra Tango. Here we go. To Palmyra for breakfast. Airspeed's alive. <laughs> 40. Airplane crabs immediately into the wind. Yep. Climb out at VY. feet per minute climb, that's not bad for fuel, full fuel. Nope. Uh, now it's 900 feet per minute. Yep. <laughs> and that's at VY, not VX, by the way. All right. Trip for climb. Let's head north. We got a cloud ceiling about 3,000 feet. So, we won't be going high, but we don't ever do that in this plane. Nope, slow and low is fun. Yeah, low and slow is the name of the game. And see more. All right, back off the power a little bit. The Bush Cat is very happy at around 52 to 5300 RPM. Yep. That's a really good cruise setting. Windmills are turning today. Yeah. Well, look at all the airplanes in the uh, on the ADSB here. Quite a few, huh? A lot. I told the tower a northbound departure, but it's mostly uh, northwest, so I'm just gonna slowly make a northwest turn so as to not freak them out or anything. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be calling me if he doesn't like it. Can you uh, push that for me? What do you want? We want the nav screen? Yeah. There we go. Thank you. All right. You nav. can get closer too if you want. So you no, can... I'm good. How it's going. Boy, there's a lot of planes. 
Well, you know, it's a nice day. It's, it's cloudy, but it's not super windy, and and it's 10 miles visibility, so, hey, there's no problem. This is the kind of day that uh, you got to pick when it's October. You know, October yeah. is a uh, always typically not a very good day for a uh, good month for flying because it rains all the time and it's cloudy and it's yeah. windy a lot, but we've been pretty fortunate. It's been nice. Um, it's been raining, but uh, every three or four days, it, it's like this. So, hey, kind of hazy today. I'm happy about that. A little bit hazy. All right, for those of you YouTubers out there who have been asking me, hey, uh, let's get some more information about the flight. Uh, I'll, I'll do my best here. Uh, right now, we are cruising at 90 miles an hour. And the ground speed's about the same, so... The wind is not too much of a factor here. We took off at about maybe a 30 degree crosswind and it was maybe seven or eight knots. So I think uh, wind wise, um, it's not gonna be too much of a factor as I said. But the Bush Cat cruises very nicely, I would say at 90 miles an hour, sometimes faster, sometimes slower. It all depends on, the, on you know how bumpy it is, and so forth. I'm also one that does not like to fly very high. I'm happy at 2,000 feet MSL. Right now we're at 2,200, and that's about as high as I'm gonna go. Ooh, bird! Yeah. <laughs> Squirrel! <laughs> uh, lots of birds out here. You know that guy, Bob? Yeah. All right, now we're gonna turn west. We're almost out of the class delta. And we are on our way to Palmyra Airport. Now, Palmyra Airport, very nice airport, all grass. It's a grass strip. Hey. <laughs> Look over there. I don't know if the cameras can hand, can see it or not. Somebody put the uh, the words Trump on the... <laughs> on the here, field. Here. Let me turn. On let, the field. Let me turn. Can you see that? Yeah, on the field. Trump on the field. In That's big, cool. big, bold letters. <laughs> well, I don't want to be political uh, with my channel, so I'm not going to be. But uh, suffice it to say, that, that was a pretty cool thing to watch. <laughs> <laughs> All Mar right, we Barbers are... Farmers with the statement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Palmyra, about a 20-minute flight. Shall we save the cameras until uh, we get a little bit closer? Yeah, we've seen the scenery, lots of pretty trees, lots of farms, everybody's harvesting their fields. Yeah. Um, it's October, we gotta get them in. Snow is predicted for the next week. So that's weather in Wisconsin. <laughs> Without the sun, you don't see the colors nearly as vibrant. And I would say we are past peak colors right now. Yeah, right, some pretty, of us in the p middle. But Pretty soon all the leaves will be gone, all the colors will be gone. And then we and then we have winter flying, which is a hoot. Hoot. Can you say hoot? hoot. Bob. Okay, hoot. Yes, 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 yes. I'll let you fly the plane. Okay. Here we go. A lot of people burning their leaves. You can see the wind direction real easy. <laughs> yep. You know, this is the way to live. Yeah, we're so spoiled. <laughs> you know, I woke up this morning realizing that we're gonna go to breakfast via an airplane. We're gonna fly to get breakfast. How exotic is that? Two days in a row. Hey, this is just this is just something. It is so much fun being on the other side of the bill now that we have the airplane. Now that we're flying, and now we're enjoying the fruits of all that investment, it's been, it's been uh, so wonderful. And uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying the ride too, because I'm, I'm hoping to take you along. You know, this is the whole purpose of why I started this channel, not only to build, but to show to show everybody what the bush cat can do and what we can do as we uh, as we go out and, and, and uh, have some adventures. Would you concur? Yes.
Every day is a new adventure. And how good is it to have a wife that is completely and 100% behind my flying? Uh, you know, sadly, that isn't always the case with every pilot. I, no. I know a few that, that their wives either are not behind them or they're just scared to death to fly. <laughs> are you scared to death to fly? No. What if, what if I do this? No, not anymore. What if I do this? No, only if you don't tell me. <laughs> what if I do this? Okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite ready for the doors off yet. Whoa, uh -oh. whoa. We just lost our engine. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're packing that up. Oh, I got to find a field here. All right, let's look for one. Yeah. Always, always good to practice. Okay, so best glide, everybody. As I'm getting ready to get to my field. Over here. Yep, that black one right there. I want to think about uh, turning on the ELT. I want to think about turning to 1215 and calling my mayday. And as I call my mayday, I start praying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are coming down here. We're lucky that a lot of fields are harvested. Yep. Okay, I've got the field. I'm plenty high. So at this point, I'm not going to do it now, but at this point I would probably put my flaps in. And then, let's see, maybe I would do a little slip. Let's yeah, do a, it's a little muddy, but we'll be good. Let's do a little slip here. Yep, we're good. Okay, we're about 200 feet now. We can go. <laughs> okay. All right. We don't want to scare the neighbors. There's a big old pumpkin patch over there. All right, we got cranes on the run on the uh, runway. Yeah, on, on the on field the, right there. On the field. Lots of birds today. Okay, so pick up my speed. Let's climb out. I wonder if we uh... scared anybody. No, if I wonder if we uh, got the attention of any farmer going, what is that? Look at that, that's an airplane, a black and orange airplane. Yeah, we're kind of visible. And he looks like he's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I always find it a good idea, I think, and I would suggest that with any pilot, keep up with your maneuvers. Uh, keep up with your skills. Don't, uh, don't just be content to fly straight and level. Um, do things like, you know, your slow flight, do, do practice your stalls, practice your turns around the point. And what we just did now, you know, an emergency engine landing practice, uh, you know, engine out landing practice. Uh, you don't ever want to get rusty in that kind of thing because no. as, as unlikely as it will be to have an engine out, uh, it does happen. And you need to be prepared and you need to be looking, always be looking for uh, a place to land, especially if you're low and slow. For 2,000 feet, you don't have much time. How much time do we have? Not much. Maybe a minute? Yeah, how about before, that. Before we had to find it, uh, so. Yep. So that's my suggestion. Take it for what it's worth. And it's a fun little game to keep looking for places to land. Now, a couple times when we were flying up north, it was kind of hard because it was all trees. <laughs> Lots of woods. That is a little scary when you know that there's no place to land. We figured we'd pick a shoreline. That would be our best bet. Or if you can fi find a sandbar, or our plane can land on a sandbar. Yeah. All right, Sharon, no more surprises, okay? Okay. You know what I did? I did this to her yesterday when we were flying, but I didn't tell her that we were going to do a practice engine out, and I said, oh, no. <laughs> she had this look on her face. I wish the cameras were on. Um, and then I realized, oh, that was a that was awful thing to do because that that was a scary moment for her, and uh, I don't want to ever do that again. So I promise not to do that. Okay, Bob. Don't tell me that you never made a mistake. <laughs> you know, sometimes you don't think through things. <laughs> you know, maybe I won't let you fly my airplane. What? No. <laughs> okay, you can fly my airplane. You do have a license, right?
Yeah, he has a license. Here's the problem. You're only eight inches tall. How are you going to fly with the stick, Bob? I mean, yeah, the stick is as big as you are. I don't know if this is going to work. Alright, we are back, just uh, about 10 miles uh, east of Palmyra, and I don't know if you've noticed this, but <laughs> my, uh, my breath is fogging up here. You know what that means? It is cold. And the reason it's cold is because we don't have our cabin heaters yet, but that's coming in, in a week or so. That'll be in another video. Uh, Jeremy's going to put uh, cabin heaters in. We'll be nice and toasty warm. But right now, it's 32 degrees outside, and I would say maybe 36 in here. Yes. And I'm a little cold. How about you? I'm don't be cozy right now. Bob? Bob, are you cold? Bob? I think he's frozen. Bob? <laughs> Bob? <laughs> uh, he's cold. Uh, he's taking a nap. So, from what I hear, the, uh, the cabin heaters on the Bushcat are really, really quite good. And I know that for a fact because the first time I flew one, it was about like this, maybe actually colder. And I was toasty warm. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to some heat. <sighs> <laughs> All right, I got to start paying attention to my landing. So uh, no more talking to the camera. You want to talk to the camera, you can talk to the camera. Okay. Okay. Palmyra traffic, Bushcat 7 Sierra Tango, 7 miles to the east, inbound for landing, Palmyra. Uh, another thing for you uh, aviation nerds is that Mike Canardia has a, uh, a system in it that will give me the winds direction and speed uh, right here right now it's saying it's one three one it's six knots this thing is hyper accurate uh, it's a unit that's in the back of my plane it's located in my in the tail and it's a hypersensitive uh, compass that can extrapolate the wind direction based on your position in space and uh, right now it is like one of the key tools that I use because if I don't see a windsock or if I can't see uh, smoke or don't really get a good idea of what the winds are doing, all I got to do is look at this thing and it's telling me. And so far, it is dead on. It has always been dead on. It's been... I love this thing. Say what you want about over teching a little simple airplane like this, but uh, this is one nice safety lot of, factor. A lot think. of neat tools. Yeah. I like my panel too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are. We're going to set up for a downwind here at Palmyra. Palmyra traffic, Bushcat 7 Sierra Tango, left downwind for 09 Palmyra. The field looks pretty good. I don't see any puddles or any kind of soft areas. Looks okay. 093 at seven knots. That's exactly what the windsock is telling me. Oh, I just love this thing. This 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 wind director. Amazing. All right, let me try the right hand with the flaps. Starting to try that. Palmyra traffic, seven tier tango. Turning left base for zero nine Palmyra. Palmyra traffic, 7 0 Tango, turning final, 0 9, Palmyra. Go ahead and slip this plane. Definitely a little bit high here. Okay, round it out. Straighten it out, just for the crosswind. <laughs> kind of lost my energy there. That was what you call a full stall landing. Yep. 
planted it just a bit. Yeah. Look at that old flame. Yeah, look at that. Where are we going? We're going to go straight ahead. There's a little parking space there. It looks like there are other pilots that are just uh, coming from uh, the cafe. There's a little cafe just about a stone's throw away called the Edge of Town Cafe. That's where we're going to eat breakfast. Do we want to bring the cameras in while we watch us eat breakfast? I don't know. No. Is that what we want? We're showing food on, food on the internet again. <laughs> you know, I told myself I wasn't going to do that. Now I've been doing it. Oh, look at the planes. Oh, look at that. Wow. There's some beautiful planes here. Can we park in front of them? Or? Yeah, I'm going to go right in here. Everybody's coming from the cafe. Yep. There we go. We're here, Bob. You can You're here. Okay, everything off? All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Radio's coming off. I slipped the plane into Palmyra. How cool is that? Uh, wow, did you see all those airplanes? That is so cool. I love airplanes. I love airplanes. Do you like airplanes? I love airplanes. I love airplanes. All right, so we're going to walk this way, come along, and we're going to eat breakfast. Uh, you can try to do the same, but I don't know if that works with the, with the video thing. <laughs> All right, here we are at the Edge of Town Cafe, just to give you kind of an idea of what it looks like. But don't get the idea that you're gonna see me eat my food because I will not do that. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Mm. All right, we have had breakfast. Now we're in for a direct crosswind takeoff at Palmyra Airport. Always an exciting day. And Ford Action got a few jumpers in a few minutes below 13,000. Ford Action. You hear that? Parachuters jumping at this yeah, temperature? I know. 40 degrees. By the time they get down to the they're going to be, be frozen. They're going to be cold. Airspeed's alive. 35, rotate. Grab into the wind. Does that automatically. <laughs> Climb out of VY. Oh, look, the windsock changed direction. Yep. Just like it said here. Yep. <laughs> this thing is an amazing tool right here. It really is. Now we can see some of the colors. The sun is coming out a little. Yep. That looks nice. 